Okay, you know what? Screw sleeping. I can have a whole week's worth of videos if I just record one more, so I'm gonna do that. Oh wait, that's right, I forgot. I'm skipping the movies, because they're just low quality and they kind of aren't necessary. Especially since this level, Alleys and Gullies, has nothing to do with that cutscene, but ah, well. Alright. Alright, this is one of the more interesting levels. Alright. So we actually... We won't be able to get all the tokens. I believe we can probably get 50 coins and the... The rubber... And the five items, which is which are rubber ducks in this level. But, I don't know. This is one of the larger, more confusing levels, especially since there's no map in this game. Uh. Oh, yes, I love that song. Oh, shoot, the planes. These planes, you have to destroy the box or they just keep respawning. Good for coins, but definitely one of the more annoying enemies in this game. Along with that purple thing you just shot. I love this song. Oh, let me turn the volume on the TV back up. Hold on. There we go, I was just turning it down for the cutscene because there are people sleeping upstairs. Okay, it's not that late. Might as well record more of this because I know this weekend, if I get Klonoa, no, not if, when I get Klonoa, I'm probably going to be playing just that and nothing else. Maybe a little No More Heroes here and then because I just want to beat that the eighth ranked assassin, number eight ranked assassin so bad. Yeah, definitely a fun boss fight, though. My favorite parts of the game are when you have all the enemies and you just. Just kill them all. That's a lot of fun. That's always a lot of fun. That's really my favorite part of the game. What annoys me most in... Why am I standing up? I can sit down. And No More Heroes is all the in-between missions you have to do for money. It just breaks the flow. It doesn't really add anything special to the game. If you ask me. I think they changed that in no... From what I've heard, they changed that in No More Heroes 2. Another... Oh. I forgot that wasn't a... I forgot that that moved. Wow, I've played this game for so long, I should know everything about it by now. I mean, unlike Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro, I know where all the most of the secrets are in this game. Oh no! The shield enemies. Yeah, see, he puts on a shield, and you have to hit him from behind. That'd be clever. Or, uh... No, that's right, you gotta spin him up. Ah. Yeah, spin him twice. And where's the... Where's the duckling? There's a disc launcher. Might get it just in case. Alright. I believe this leads to the swimming pool. Watermelons. Where's a. As far as the boo isn't stealing these. I can't see the duck. I guess the duck's above us? I don't know, we'll see. Stop this. Yeah, I believe so. Okay, nope. Uh, stop this button. Oh, that's right, now I know what to do. Stop the button, start the fan. And then, or, not laying on the way on my leg. Oh, that's right, there's some water over here you gotta jump in to get one of the ducks. And another item. Alright, so we got one duckling, and I believe there's one more thing in here. I think it's a... One other item. Yep, it's a one-up. Surprised, even with the, the fact that we went, ran pretty low in health a couple times up to this point, I'm surprised I haven't lost any lives yet. And sorry, I'm just really getting into the music. This kind of uh, tempted swinging sound works a lot better than Paper Mario stickers. Oh, sticker stars! Oh my gosh, I tried playing Sticker Star. I borrowed my brother's 3 yes to go on a car trip, or uh, trip to WGI World Finals, or the preliminary round of for WGI World Finals, and I could not jump jump up there, Buzz. Okay, I could not stand the music of that game of Paper Mario Sticker Star at all. I mean, really, I hated it. I actually turned the music all off, got on my iPod, and you're supposed to grab the edge, really, Buzz. Jump, grab, no. Grab the edge. This isn't Super Smash. This isn't Smash Brothers 64. You're supposed to flip and grab it. And my reactions would be funnier if it wasn't the fact that I'm trying to be quiet. This is like 
Runaway guys, a Peach's birthday cake. Jump up there. Thank you. Uh, that's right, it goes behind him, so haha. -ha. I don't think that really does anything. How many coins do I have? 24, so we're only about halfway to getting enough for him. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah. Okay, Paper Mario Sticker Star soundtrack. I hate it. I turn on Frau Frau and the Police, and I like felt like that music fit. Uh, the game a lot better than the game's actual soundtrack is. You know, really? Mario soundtrack's supposed to be happy, happy and upbeat. But I think the soundtrack's a little too happy and a little too upbeat. I had too much going on, which got really annoying. I could not stand it for like, played for like the first half of music, like the first half hour of my playing. Played for like three hours total on the way to and from the competition as well as uh, playing in between performances and man I just could not stand the music though I've recently gotten kind of back into the swing of handheld really okay I'm gonna pause here till I actually get to that trash can alright see you in a second okay, it turns out you don't even need that balloon to get over there if you just jump on that See that up there? That uh, overhanging thing, I forget what it's called, like to protect the booth from the rain. Just use that, you don't even need the, don't even need the flipping balloons. And you know what? I kept trying to jump up here, but Buzz would not grab the table. Like, watch this. This is one of the biggest loads of crap ever. Just jump. It doesn't grab it. it. Makes no sense. And there's no grapple button or anything, so that's just complete crap. In fact, the item we need to really make progress on this level is a grappling hook, which we are not going to get till much later in the game. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, we don't get it till we get to the fourth area. When we go to uh, Al's apartment building, holy crap. Actually, how many... Okay, I can... If I get enough... Oh, wrong button. If I get enough coins, I can do 50 coins. But I believe, I think the puzzle and get 50 coins might be the only ones we can actually get. Because yeah, I think some of the ducklings are up on the buildings. The boss is up on the buildings. What am I forgetting? Oh, let me double check with Rex because I'm thinking. Mother Duck has lost her ducklings. Slinky has a challenge for you in the middle of a gully over this fence. Clown boss. Yeah. So I can get two. So I can get two. There's the puzzle. Yeah. I think the, getting the puzzle and the time are the only ones I'm going to be able to. But puzzle, time, well, maybe time and coins are the only ones I can get. Oh, I'm so happy you're not a dinosaur. Okay, oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't know how long my first clip was. I started the second clip. I'm not going to be able to keep track of it to go over 15 minutes or not. Oh my gosh, is this the challenge that I think it is? Oh no. This is. Actually, this might not even be possible at this point in the game. We'll just have to see in water physics. Kind of annoying. At least there's no iron boots to deal with, though. At least Buzz will actually grab that ledge. Let's do this again. Okay, jump. Okay, I can at least jump over to that lily pad. Oh, fleesh. Right. Oh, man. Wait. Oh, man. Really? This is. These water physics. Back in my day, we had these. We didn't have water physics. We had it that if you touch the water, you die. And you don't want to die. You don't want to die. That's my bad southern accent meets old man accent. Okay, we can get the five 
bones. This is tricky because if you fall in the water, it takes forever to get back up. What they expect you to do is jump on the debris and do this, but I'm gonna be cheap. Oh, that was it. That was fast. All right, so we got two out of five. So we can get. Let's just uh, pick up some more enemies. Get some more coins. Or, yeah. Only need ten more, not bad. There's probably ten more around the alley. But what is a gully? I mean, we're in one, but I don't know what the dictionary definition of gully is. As a kid, I didn't know, and even I really still don't know. Uh, and you know what? When it buzz electrocute, with all this water going underwater here, and with all the rain, I mean, Travis Touchdown's, uh, what you call it, Beam Katana, electrocuted through the, the fire, uh, the water sprayers for the fire. And another thing, this game, Super Mario 64, not 64, Super Mario Sunshine did the same thing. Your friends hold Pizza Planet tokens, but they're essentially making you pay for them by doing things like completing their challenges. So this is the grappling hook, which we don't get till later. Basically, they have the thing you need to progress and save Woody, and they're not giving it to you. You're, they're your friends, but they're pay, making you pay for it. Kind of like the Tanukis in Sunshine. What is up with that? What's it all about, as Van Dale would say? By the way, if you live in Columbus, Ohio, and you don't know who Van Dale is, well, you need to find out who Van Dale is, because they are awesome. I actually got one of their CD for free from the singer. I've been intending to buy it. I went to go see their live show at this record store called Used Kids. And I didn't have bought one yet, and neither had a friend of mine who became an instant fan when I took her to the show. And he gave us each a copy of the CD. So, the lead singer did, so that was really cool. Alright, let's see if I can make this jump this time. Bring it up. Alright. Thank you. Oh, Stomp is a one-hit kill for those guys. Oh, that looks, like looks like a lot of coins. I need to not speak so fast. I need to speak clearly. I had a mock interview for my... My... Not business class. Uh, gosh, I forget what, what it's called. It's a class about learning about having a job. Career mentorship. Now, I've already done an interview for my movie theater job, which is why I'm getting it. In fact... Uh, it will, I would have worked my first day on the job a couple days ago whenever this video goes up. But when I did my mock interview, to kind of, you know, because that's a grade needed, uh, I got a perfect score. My, my interviewer liked me. The only thing she said was, sometimes I talk a little too fast. Just the thing, when I do things like interviews or I have to make a speech, I spend a lot of time practicing it. Especially speaking out loud. Speaking out loud is my way of thinking, which I believe is an Asperger's syndrome thing. I'm not sure. My dad said, always said it was a symptom I need to get out of the habit of, but if it wasn't for the fact that I'm so good at that, I wouldn't be so good at Let's Playing. Then again, maybe I'm not so good at Let's Playing, but at least maybe I'm decent. <laughs> but the uh, point is, uh, I knew exactly what I was saying, and I knew it so well I could recite it kind of quickly. And, which was not something I intended to do, but I started going so fast that she, that the interviewer said I should slow down a bit. So let's talk to Han. Alright, that's your third token. That's the last one we can get in this level. And... Actually, have I gone on too long to do a boss fight? I'm not sure. Ah, uh, because I would love to do the boss fight, because it's a very memorable... You know what? Screw it. I don't care if I'm going over the video length. I'll make this a two-parter if I have to. But I'm doing this. Slime time. Probably my favorite boss fight of the game, or second favorite. But this one's really cool. I just like this boss. It's, it's just cool. Just check it out. Oh, and the music. So this boss, the slime boss, what you're supposed to do is shoot it, but it'll throw slime balls at you. So what you have to do is push circle to spin and reflect his projectiles, but at the same time pushing circle to, uh, to reflect his attacks. I just I just like how he looks, you know? He's got like 
all the little junk inside of him. Ow. Now, the thing about this boss, this is the only boss fight where you can get a green crystal in it. Basically, they give it to you so you can actually take him out fast enough when he gets bigger. Like, look at this. He gets bigger and bigger every time. Now, I, I did this when I practiced the game. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to beat it without using the green crystal just to prove how awesome I can be. I mean, just look at him, especially compared to Buzz. Like, see, there's a green crystal, but... Oh. Whoops. Didn't intend for that to happen. Just, it's just all about the timing. Just shoot, 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 shoot. Circle, shoot, 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 shoot. Circle, shoot, 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 shoot. And... Yes! Didn't need the green crystal like I did as a kid. Alright. Boss defeated. Alright, that's all for now. I've gone way over the time. This has been Melon Method. Love you guys. See you later next time. Bye.